Broadcasting from our studios in the UK. Heard around the world. Automatic musical instruments. On app, on Alexa speakers and online. Tuesday Night Live. With James Dundon. Good evening. I hope you're having a lovely week. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last remaining three hours of January. We've made it to the end of January on the... Because what's the date today? Something like the 96th of January? Something like that. So uh, there you go. We got through and February uh, starts tomorrow. Or oh, February. How do we say February? February. We'll uh, we'll uh, practice between now and ten. No, we've got some good stuff on the show. Uh, tonight, organ builder Alan Guest joins us to talk about the recent work undertaken on the Lithgow 98 Key Merengue and how there's plans for it to be seen in public again this year. We're going to start the programme with a recording of said instrument, and I think you'll agree it is in fine fettle after all the work completed by both Alan and also Andrew Perlmer and Russell Wattam. It's been a long term project that's been undertaken to bring it back up to standard and this is a recording that was made uh, just two or three weeks ago on the Lifco Merengue I hope you'll enjoy Krasnacello
after all the work completed, the Lifco Marenghi are ready to get back out onto the rally scene this coming year. A little bit later on in the show, organ builder Alan Guest joins us for a chat about the work undertaken. And also, a little special treat for you. We've gone into the archives and we have got some audio of Tom Albert's 98 key golden merengue doing an ordinary organ recital. So this organ back in uh, the late 50s, early 60s, used to give regular Sunday afternoon organ recitals, and we've got a charming bit of audio of that uh, to play you on the programme, as well as some newer sounds of the instrument. It's all coming up. First, though, Instrument of the Week, the Jupiter from the Harlem Dry Organ Museum. We've got some exclusive new tracks to play you tonight of the instrument, and this was recorded straight after its restoration in 2003, so a lovely thing to have on record. We haven't broadcast these before on the radio station, so we're pleased to bring them to you now. And this is Harmonica Boogie on the Jupiter, our instrument of the week. <laughs> Talking to Jupiter plays harmonica boogie, and that is our instrument of the week. You'll hear more of it than any other thing that we'll play across this week, across all our programmes. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If that before the end of the hour tonight, we'll play a couple more from that particular street organ as our instrument of the week, including a one second song challenge. <laughs> First, though, let's get your brain working with this four songs. But what's the connection? Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. Oh, God. Here we go. I wonder what the theme or connection could be tonight. Have a think. We're going to play four tracks. And when it leaps out at you, just think about the titles of a tune that we're playing. Maybe pick out key words or some sort of theme. What story are we telling? There's a tenuous link between these four. Connect them. When you think you know what tonight's connection could be, just get in touch on the website mechanicalmusicradio.com or you can send us a WhatsApp to 07871221511. Send us a text to that number or an email through on the website. Here comes the first one. A song one is If You Leave Me Now.
Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. think here about tonight's Connect Four. I think a few people, quite a few people already, the penny has dropped. Uh, the first two we played, If You Leave Me Now and The Continental. The Continental. Track three is Stay With Me Till The Morning. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. Oh, it was a lovely 10 minutes. I really enjoyed sitting there listening to those instruments. The ex-Jonas Gavioli, the Lekker Kirk of Dunford Gavioli and Street Organ Harlequin. So we've just played you four tracks from four different instruments and, of course, it's the titles of the songs that you need to keep an eye on. It's the titles. So uh, think about what connects the four and when you think you know, get in touch on the website mechanicalmusicradio.com. We played If You Leave Me Now, The Continental... Stay with me till the morning. And I want some money. So what do you think the Connect Four could be? If you think you know, get in touch, because the answer is revealed in five minutes. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 Or email through our website. Mechanicalmusicradio.com If you'd rather be anywhere than stuck indoors arranging insurance, why not give Walker Midgley Insurance Brokers a call today? We've been established for over 40 years, so our friendly specialists can sort the right cover for organs, steam vehicles, modelers, clubs and societies, as well as vintage tractors and much more. We believe we can beat your existing quote. Call us today on 0114 250 2770. 
Walker Midgley is part of the Towergate Underwriting Group Limited, who are authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Cover is for UK-based customers only. I thought, because we haven't played a dance organ so far this evening, so I thought we'd play the 14 Billikens and one of the most lively arrangements of Marina you'll ever hear. More happy music like that on our happy hour, which is on your radio from 11 o'clock tonight. And we also do it at 9 in the morning and 3 in the afternoon. And of course, as with every show we do, it's always available on our Listen Again section on the website. And I really am amazed how many people are doing the listening end because it's, it's taken a lot of setting up and there is a cost implication to the radio station for providing our programs on a listen again platform but it's so good to see so many people are enjoying so many more hours of the radio station uh, because of the convenience of listen again or of course you can listen live 24 hours a day mechanical music radio welcome along let's now do the answer to this four songs but what's the connection mechanical music radios connect four Right, we're ready to reveal tonight's Connect Four. We played four pieces uh, earlier. We played If You Leave Me Now, The Continental, Stay With Me Till The Morning, and I Want Some Money. So what was tonight's connection? I think, fast as finger first, it's, or by a millisecond, Peter Mackett. Well done, Pete. Second place, Matt Lyons. Very impressive. Third, Thomas Potter. (laughs) <laughs> a lot of right answers on this tonight. Mark Raven, Josh in Red Roof. Hello to uh, Michael Pumphrey. Also, Andrew Rota. <laughs> There's a lot of people going, oh, it's not, is it? You're doing this as a connection. Yep. Uh, Keith Pinner, hi to Paul Rogers and Ben Jackson. Also, must say hi to Bill and Claire in the US. Catherine in Callington. Who gave it a good go? Ingmar from uh, uh, Grind Organs, he's got it. Bill Warder. The um, tonight's Connect Four was. Um, it's been three years since Brexit. It's, it's that simple. It's three years since Brexit. We played "If You Leave Me Now," leave, and we had the Continental, because of course our Continental links were severed, and "Stay with Me Till the Morning." 
And I want some money. Uh, I mean, you can take that either way, really, the, the savings that Britain have made or uh, the economic forecasts that um, show that maybe it's uh, not going too well. I don't know from which side of the, the coin you're on, but I'm not getting involved in the debate whatsoever. I've, uh, I've, I've only ever made that mistake once. Tonight, Brexit on the Connect Four. Well done. Now, look, I, I had a couple of people message me recently and said, God, I'd love to... I'd love to come up with a Connect Four for the show. Well, you're very welcome. We we would warmly accept your Connect Fours. All you've got to do is, I suggest, you go on our website and you know the request page. If you go on there, you can search by title. And if you just type in some, like, key words that tell some sort of story or connection... Um, then you can pop it in an email to me and say, so for instance, you know, in that Connect Four, we had leave, continental, uh, stay, and money. So you can easily find, and it's a great way of getting, you know, your favourite organs or songs on the radio, if you can come up with a suitable Connect Four. So do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Send your Connect Fours on email, and if you want to do a bit of research and find out what titles we've got that we can play, just have a look on the website, Mechanical Music Radio. Dot com, click requests, and while you're there, you might want to request some stuff for after ten because we're going to be doing a, re- a request hour, of course, uh, very very soon. <laughs> Right, let's crack on with the show. Organ builder Alan Guest just round the corner to tell us more about the work on the Lifco Merengue. First, though, a street organ that is our instrument of the week, the Jupiter from the Harlem Dry Organ Museum. And another new track that we haven't played on the radio station before from this instrument is the Sonia Waltz. <laughs> Instrument of the week is street organ de Jupiter. Could it be? It's the oldest street organ in the Netherlands. It was built in the 1900s by Gavioli. Uh, rebuilt many times over the years. The Minning firm named it Jupiter. I mean, 1955, it was presented for the first time in the city of Harlem. They're playing in the streets, and for many years, um, it was uh, it was there until. It was then donated to the museum and it's been in the Harlem Dry Organ Museum as a important part of their collection ever since. Restored in 2003. That's when that recording was done shortly after its restoration. Fantastic instrument, Jupiter, and it played there the Sonia Waltz. Hope you enjoyed that. It is our instrument of the week and you'll hear a bit more of it now on the One Second Song. Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. Yes. Can you identify... 
the piece of music that Jupiter is playing here, and it's a well-known piece. And uh, my fear with tonight's is you'll know the tune, but you'll be going, oh, I can't remember what that's called. So think about it. Come on, I've given you a, a good second and a bit there. Any ideas? Any ideas? Go with your gut on this. And if you are struggling, if you are struggling to identify and remember the title, my clue to you is honk. Honk. That's your clue. So get on the email and get on the text now and tell me what tonight's one second song could be. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com Now in just a moment joining us for a chat is the organ builder Alan Guest speaking about the recent work undertaken on Frank Lithgow's 98 key merengue it was this organ that formed the Fair Organ Preservation Society. Tom Alberts from Bolton used to hold regular Sunday recitals and it was decided at one of these recitals to form some sort of Fair Organ club or group of friends and a couple of months later, the FOPS was formed. Just to set the scene, we thought we'd play you an archive track from one of those recitals and listen carefully because at the end of this book of music on the uh, on the organ, you will hear the man himself, Tom Alberts, addressing the crowd. <laughs> Thank you. 
God bless you. Everlasting friendship and a happy Christmas. Good night. Tom Albert's 98 key merengue. I bet enthusiasts at the time standing around for those early recitals back in 1957 had little idea the, uh, of the impact of their decision to form themselves as a society that would go on to serve the preservation movement for many years to come. The Fair Auckland Preservation Society is still going today. So that's from that time. Let's move a little bit closer and one of the um, one of the periods of the organ's life when it would regularly appear on the rally scene entertaining people in the early 90s. Uh, this recording from the Carl Plasto archive and it's Who on the Lithgow Merengue. <laughs> Recorded back in 1991, the Lithgow 98 Key Merengue at the Great Dorset Steam Fair. Thanks to Carl Pasco for a recording of, of it on that particular occasion in the early 90s. And of course, it was around that era where we didn't tend to see a lot more of it at some of the bigger events. Uh, Frank Lithgow, of course, has had it in his collection for many years, but we've really missed seeing this iconic and very important instrument from our heritage. Well, a little bit of good news on the programme tonight. We might be about to see it in public places once again because it's had a lot of work done to it by organ builder Alan Guest of AEC Guest Organs. And Alan joins us now. Evening, Alan. Good evening. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm great. I know you're uh, fine and dandy, though, because you're on holiday. Where are you? Uh, Florida, Orlando. We're um, just on a family vacation here, just, just three weeks. Uh, but uh, well needed, I think, because I've uh, probably been a busy summer and busy winter. Never get a minute. Yeah, that's great. Well, lovely. A bit of family time. And I think you're at one of the Disneyland resorts. Have you seen the, the any... Because there was some mechanical music at Disneyland Florida, I seem to remember hearing about. The, the, in one of the restaurants, we saw an orchestra that plays every half an hour um, in, in Magic Kingdom. I know in one of the hotels they've got an organ, a mechanical organ, up, up sort of like in a loft space. Um, I'm not quite sure where that is. Um, and then we're going to see a collection tomorrow of uh, Bill Halls. Oh, fabulous! So he, you know, he invited us there. So I'm um, over here at the moment. Martin Rhodes is over here as well. There's a few showmen over here at the moment. So. Uh, uh, I invited Mike to come along, so we're going to pick him up in the morning and go there. Fantastic. So you're having fun. Well, that all sounds very good to me. Uh, now, the reason we got you on is because of the Lithgow Merengue. It's an instrument that's very important to us all. Um, you've just done quite a lot of work to this instrument, and this is an instrument, that, an organ that's not been seen for many years. How, how did this work suddenly come about? I think it started about four years ago uh, it, Frank had approached uh, Andrew Pearlman and Russell Watton to, to carry out the work and they've been going through it methodically uh, but I think in recent months he's been wanting to see an end to it all and get 
get the organ out and get the bursar's organ out, which we've been working on. Um, and then a job, the, the, the worst job was left was one of the, you know, the next, the next tasks, which was to get the organ out of the truck. And, um, at the time, the organ was over at John Johnson's, uh, which is around the corner from my workshop. They did steam, steam estimations. So he was working on the truck and then, um, well, we said, well, he asked us if we'd do it. We said we'd do it. And then we, we worked on the base pipes underneath in the chest and then we put it back in. And then while it was back in, we decided to, Rewire it all because it was the wiring was horrendous. Basically, every section of the front had a length of cable that ran to the front corner of the truck with a plug on it. Um, the wiring was perished, and etc. So we re- rewired it all, made a new switchboard, and uh, put a new um, keyframe motor on it, uh, overhauled the blower. Uh, those that have seen the, my Facebook posts have seen all the pictures and stuff, but. Um, it was quite it, 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 quite a big job. We started it in the, in the back end of the summer. It took us sort of, well, we're still on it now. We've, uh, when we get back from here, we'll take the key, key frame off and do the key frame and we keep pecking away at the sort of like the last bits of what um, has not got done. It's sort of like maybe a, a third of the organ still still to do. So, so we'll just keep picking away till our deadline will be August. And then he's got it planned to go to a steam engine rally in in August at Assel Park, which is at Chelford, which is the second yeah the second weekend in August. Uh-huh. So uh, it's not got a big journey to go to to go to that. Yeah, great. so um, that's that's the plan. Well, it's good to know that uh, we're going to see it in uh, public again. And um, obviously, yeah, as you say, a lot of work's been done to it that hasn't been done for many a year. We're, we're going to let you hear it. We have an exclusive recording sent by Alan that we're going to play you right now of what it sounds like. This was recorded just a couple of weeks ago after Alan finished the job before he went off on holiday. Uh, so we'll let you hear that, and then we're back with organ builder Alan Guest to find out a little bit more about this particular instrument. The track you're going to hear now is Marching Along Together on the Lithgo 98 Key Marenghi.
marching along together on the Lithgow 98 Key Marengi. And uh, there it is, yeah, recording done just a few weeks ago after the completion of all the work done. Uh, organ builder Alan Guest uh, seeing through some of those jobs, getting it rally ready for the season ahead. Um, it's very exciting to think that, you know, it's got to the stage where it's playing a lot better. Um, sounding a lot better. Of course, Frank has had this organ for many years. I think it was back in the 80s when he had it. And Sid Reeves, I think, was the gentleman that used to look after it, wasn't it? That, that's right. Sid was a, a trained church organ builder and uh, he, he was the one who primarily put the, the Wurlitz and did all the uh, cinema organ stuff at, at Frank's. And obviously at the time when he had several organs, he, um, he used to look after them all. Uh, which must have been quite a, a full-time job in itself. But uh, I knew Sid quite well. I used to go to the, the Northwest Group Fox meetings and he would always attend them and we'd, we'd chat and he was very encouraging about organ work. And I did I did go and see Sid uh, at France quite a few times so uh, I could see what he was getting on with. Most of the time he was working on the organ that uh, Mike Dreeland's got now, the, the Gavioli, that was originally in the Gallopers, which I think is just outside the Gallopers now, um, you know, what, what uh, Mike Dillon's got. Uh, he was always working on that because it was his, the organ that was out every weekend in the Gallopers. Yeah. And who's going to take it out now, Alan? Who's going to tour it on behalf of Frank? Uh, a young lad called Simon, uh, Simon Peasner. He He's the son of Mike Peasner, who used to own uh, Lady Hamilton. He's the one who's been taking Dreadnought out, his showman's engine out. He said that uh, he's very keen on, on, on the 98. It's his favourite organ and he plays it most of the time is there because they, they, they sort of like share the same barn. So uh, he'll put the organ on and then clean the engine or do work on the engine. <laughs> um, so he's, it's, it's through him that the work's been being pushed along because he wants to see the organ out as well. Yeah, oh, that must be... Oh, that must be a dream having a shed where the you know you can just put put, put the organ on, and because it's on MIDI, you don't have to worry about changing the books, and you just crack on with whatever work you've got to do around the shed. I can imagine that's uh, that is a pleasant evening. Yeah, and it's good because um, because we've been going f- through slowly uh, all the the MIDI music that that was read in from the books. Um, any that aren't very good or um, a bit because they were very, very badly edited when they were read in. So if, if a book would drift off when it was being read in, it wouldn't be picked up. It would just scanned in, saved, scanned in, saved. Mm. And anything that's not quite right, he makes me a list and then that gets either binned or edited or or whatever it needs, really. So, some of them have got really long starts to them, so that the, the organ was very silent for ages. Yeah. And then there'll be a, a song, uh, and the next one might go straight into a song. Yeah. So we're trying to sort it all out, a lot of quantizing because they say they were very, very badly read in. Um, so, and we're also trying to put out, give him some some new MIDI music. Um, and as well as all that, obviously, when we get the keyframe done, we'll go through the books and make sure they're, they're good to go and we'll stand. You know, a good a good bit of playing basically because he's got tons and tons of music. You know, mm. some of it's ripped, and some of it's good, and it's all that and sorting out. So it's there's a lot of time to do that he's spent there, really. Mm. Well, it'll be a pleasure to see it again out in public. Alan, stay there. We'll just have a, another quick chat with you before you go, before the end of the show, and the reveal of a one second song coming up as well. First, though, the final exclusive recording that was made for us here at Mechanical Music Radio. Enjoy the Lifco family's 98 key merengue. <laughs>
Lovely to hear it playing so well. Just recorded a few a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Lifko Merengue. And credit to you, Alan, for seeing this project through. And, of course, to Andrew Pilmer and Russell Wattam, who uh, began this restoration journey. And I'm, I'm sure they did a lot of good work to the organ to because there was a lot that needed doing, wasn't there, from the stage it was at? Yeah, fair play to them. They did a really good job, I think. Um, the only thing was that towards the end, I think Frank just, you know, he was like, come on, let's get this, let's get this done. And uh, they were quite busy with other projects. And I think really Frank just wanted to see it finished. Um, so when we finished the Bursons, he, um, I think I'll say we had to get the organ out, which is, it's a young man's job is getting that organ out of that truck because it was, you had to get underneath and grind bolts off. Um, jack it up. We had to pull it out with, uh, you know, a forklift, and it's get on your back on the concrete floor in the cold. And oh, it's, it was a young man's job. It wasn't a, a job for, um, you know, for, for them guys. They're they much better in the work, warm workshop doing what they do best, really. So, <laughs> it was, I I can imagine the um, the difficulty that you must have had a few moments trying to get it out of that truck because it has been in there for years and yeah, not knowing it, quite it, what you're going to find uh, as you, you know, there must be a few hidden bolts and a few things that you weren't quite sure about. Well, you think you've undone every screw and then you, you go to pull a panel off and it still won't come and then you look closer and the screw's been um, chewed up and you think, well, how the hell am I get that out? Oh, so it, it was a night. We were at it three weeks to get that organ out of that truck. Really? Uh, um, yeah, and then and then we had to put it some all somewhere while we got the truck emptied and we could uh, clean it all out and uh, it was just and then chimming on top of the organ when when the organ was in to to rewire it all you know it's thick with dust and it, it's not it was not an easy job and I did actually say that to uh, Andrew. He wants to want to judge on that job. <laughs> um, so. Well, someone's got to do it. Um, Alan, a well-deserved holiday after that, I think. Uh, there are photos of the uh, bits that you did and the organ uh, all split up into the side cases and coming out of the truck. Um, what's your Facebook page? Uh, we just search um, AC Guest Mechanical Organ Builders, and, and I've got a new website now, have James? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's online, <laughs> see? You can go and see him online. Uh, the new website, I think, is uh, guestorgans.com. Is that right? That's right. That's okay. right. Oh, I was having a look at it the other day. Very nice. Uh, good to see that. And, um, yeah, congratulations, because just a reminder, Alan, uh, you know, he's been doing a lot in the organ scene for many, many years uh, in his spare time and on a part-time basis, but he's now a full-time organ builder. So this is the next generation coming through. Because you're only a young and aren't you, Alan? How old are you now? Uh, 38. No, not so young. <laughs> so, <I've> got, <laughs> <laughs> not so young anymore, you're like me. Yeah. God, the years go on too quick. Yeah. But, uh, no, we've got, we've got a lot going on, and uh, keep your eye on that Facebook page, because uh, we've got some the stuff that's not been mentioned on there. We've got an exciting project for the Netherlands, and uh, we've got yeah midi, mid, more MIDI systems to make for organs that you, you'll recognise and yeah we've got a lot going on in orbit so uh, great uh, all right, Alan. Busy. right don't think about that though I want you to enjoy your holiday uh, oh, I'm back in the pool <laughs> after this phone yeah call, fantastic back you go <laughs> enjoy your afternoon there in Florida cheers Alan all the best mate right thank you very much bye now Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song well, just before we go, did you get tonight's one-second song? It's a well-known piece played on Street Organ to Jupiter. My clue to you was honk. It, I think my clue might have confused a few people. I mean, some gave it a go. Uh, Matt Lyon said, is it beep beep the bubble car? No. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, Ben Jackson says, beep beep the motor car. Yeah, similar vein. No. Uh, Peter Mackett was fastest finger first. Uh, well done to uh, Michael Clark in Leeds also for getting it after a couple of goes. Uh, Thomas Potter said, is it wish me luck as you wave me goodbye? God, it does sound like it, doesn't it? <laughs> goodbye. No, it's actually ever so goosey. <laughs> That's my clue, honk. 
It's the noise that gooses, geese make, you see. We go to gooses. So ever so goosey is the one second song, and in full it sounds like this. <laughs> second song was ever so goosey that was on street organ to jupiter stay tuned to hear more tracks from our instrument of a week glenn thomas is up at midnight tonight with mechanical music prime time an excellent program and of course if you're not up that late or you, you know you've got things to do don't worry you can listen again to his program or any others at any time just go to mechanicalmusicradio.com and listen again next your request hour after 10 get your choices in the queue Head now to mechanicalmusicradio.com and hit request. <laughs> 